You're listening to the Miss Artastic Podcast. Inspiration for art teachers. Here's your host, Kathleen McGivern. This episode is brought to you by MsArtastic.com. If you're a teacher or art educator, you can find ideas, tips, advice, and art resources for art education at MsArtastic.com. Find the link in the description or go to MsArtastic.com now. making art fun, teaching the elements of art to all children. So art education is an essential component of a well-rounded education for all children. Not only does it provide a creative outlet, but it also helps children develop critical thinking skills, problem-solving abilities, and fine motor skills. However, many children may find art to be maybe boring or intimidating for a variety of reasons, or maybe just not an interesting topic, right? So for a variety of reasons, which can really hinder their ability to fully benefit from our education, primarily because the lesson is not based around their interests. That's why it's essential to make art fun and accessible to all children of all ages. And that's really what we're going to be diving in on today. So one effective way is to To do so is by teaching the elements of art. And by understanding and mastering the elements of art, children can become confident, competent artists, express their creativity, and gain a deeper appreciation for the arts. So we're gonna be, again, exploring strategies for making art fun and engaging for kids of all ages through teaching the elements of art. So we're just gonna start off with exploring the benefits of teaching elements of art to kids. So if you are uh, just watching this, listening to this, make sure you grab a pen of paper so that way you can jot down all these ideas, my friends. I'm gonna give you so much, so here we go. So teaching the elements of art to children has numerous benefits that extend beyond just the development of artistic skills. So by understanding and mastering the elements of art, Kids can really enhance their cognitive, social, and emotional development, as well as gain a deeper appreciation for the arts. So one significant benefit of teaching the elements of arts to kids is that it really improves their critical thinking skills. As children learn to identify and manipulate the various elements of art, they're also learning to analyze and evaluate their own artworks really leading to improved problem solving abilities and the skill can be transferred to other areas of their lives helping them to think more critically in all aspects of their academic and personal lives additionally teaching the elements of art to kids really promotes creativity and self-expression allowing children to develop their own unique style and voice by mastering the elements of art kids can more effectively convey their thoughts and emotions through their artwork. And this can lead to increased confidence, self-awareness, self-esteem, really as those children uh, or child develops a better understanding of their own capabilities and potential. Moreover, teaching the elements of art really helps children develop those fine motor skills. Through the use of art materials such as pencils and paintbrushes and clay, children can improve their hand-eye coordination, dexterity, and overall motor skills. And these skills can be useful in other areas of their lives, such as writing and sports, improving their overall physical development. Finally, teaching the elements of art can increase cultural awareness and appreciation. Through art education, children can learn about the different cultures, traditions, and historical periods represented in various art forms. This exposure can lead to a greater appreciation for diversity and different perspectives, which can ultimately lead to a more tolerant and accepting society. Overall, teaching the elements of art to children has numerous benefits that can enhance their cognitive, social, and emotional development. By encouraging children to express themselves creatively, 
promoting critical thinking skills and more developing like for example the fine motor skills and increasing increasing cultural awareness our education can positively impact children's lives in many ways so we're going to cover some strategies for making an art fun for kids of all ages so making art fun for kids of all ages is really crucial for promoting creativity self-expression and a love of the arts so we're going to talk some, about some effective strategies for making art fun for all for kids of all ages so number one is to encourage experimentation with different art mediums and materials so provide kids with a variety of art, me art mediums and materials such as your paint your clay markers crayons uh, oil pastel, soft pastel, and then encourage them to experiment with different combinations and techniques. And it's going to help spark that creativity and encourage them to explore new artistic possibilities. Number two is to create a fun and engaging environment. So make the art space a fun and inviting environment and by using bright colors, fun decorations, and a comfortable seating. This can really help kids feel more comfortable and confident in their creativ creative abilities. Number three, incorporate movement and music into art lessons. Incorporating music and movement into art lessons can help keep kids engaged and motivated. Play music that inspires creativity and encourages music. Like if you need to get up and give a little dance, go for it, yo. Um, but you can also have like classical music or upbeat, upbeat songs. I used to love playing like cafe jazz or meditation music or zen vibes, all of that. Um, or like lo-fi beats, so fun for your classroom and just like really good into getting in the groove. Number four is use art games and activities to teach the elements. So use games and activities to teach the elements of art, such as creating collages with different textures. You could use mirrors to experiment with symmetry or drawing portraits of each other to explore the element of art proportion. Number five is integrating technology into art lessons. So you could use technology such as digital drawing tools or interactive art websites to engage children in and teach them new uh, techniques. This can particularly be effective for older children who are interested in digital art. I love Wacom tablets. I have the Intuos. It's awesome, super small, compact, compatible. Love it. That's one to explore. Um, if you have that option available at your school, maybe if you have a budget, a limited budget, but you're they're you know encouraging technology. You can always just get five and then start off with like a station at your in your classroom, right? Instead of being a whole class set. If you can't afford a whole class set, you get a station and you can rotate kids through different stations in the classroom to learn things. Way to save money, guys. Number six, allowing for freedom and creative expression. So you can encourage children to express themselves freely through their artwork, allowing them to explore creativity and develop their own unique style. This can really help children feel empowered and develop a sense of ownership over their artistic creations. Okay, so we're gonna talk about understanding the elements of art. The elements of art are the basic building blocks that artists use to create a work of art. So by mastering these elements, artists can really create compelling visual compositions that communicate ideas and emotions to the viewer. There are seven basic elements of art, which are line, shape, form, space, texture, value, and color. So we're gonna talk about line. Line is a continuous mark made on a surface with a point. Lines can be thick, thin, straight, wavy, smooth, um, and they can also be used to create a sense of movement, emotion, or direction in a composition. Number two is shape. So say shape is a two-dimensional area that is defined by a boundary, such as a line or color, and shapes can be geometric, such as squares or circles, uh, or even organic, such as the shapes found in nature. Number three is form. So form is a three-dimensional object that has length, width, and depth. Forms can be geometric, such as cubes or spheres, um, or even organic, such as the human body. Space is number four, and space refers to the area within and around an object. So, and artists really use space to create a sense of depth or distance in a composition. Texture is number five, and it really refers to the surface quality of an object, whether it's nice and smooth, or it has, you know, fluffy or rough texture. These are obviously fake. So. <laughs> If you're listening to me only, I'm touching my like, you know, fake flowers behind me. <laughs> um, and they can be 
visual or tactile, right? Number six is value, and value refers to the lightness or darkness of a color. And by using different values, artists can create contrast and add depth to their composition. And finally, number seven is color, and color is the most expressive of all the elements of art. Colors can be warm or cool, bright or dull, and they can also convey emotions and moods. By understanding and mastering these elements, artists, including children, can create works of art that communicate ideas, emotions, all those things for the viewer. Understanding the elements of art is also essential for developing the critical thinking and problem solving skills as artists must analyze and evaluate their compositions in order to create effective visual messages. So we're going to dive in on the importance of teaching these seven elements of art to kids. So teaching the elements of art, again, line, shape, form, space, value, and texture, and color, color, <laughs> is really crucial for fostering creativity and critical thinking, and of course, self-expression in students. So we're going to talk about the reasons why teaching the elements of art is important. Number one, it encourages creative thinking. So if you've gotten distracted, make sure you come back to me right now, put all those devices and everything away. So number one, it encourages creative thinking. By teaching, this, by teaching your students the elements of art, they are really given a foundation to build on when creating their own artworks. Understanding how to use these elements in various ways helps students to really think, think creatively on and develop their own unique style. Number two is that it really enhances problem solving skills. So when creating art, students must make decisions about that composition or color palette or technique that they're exploring. So teaching the elements of art gives them that framework to analyze and solve problems when making these decisions. Number three is that it really promotes visual literacy. The elements of art are the, the building blocks of visual communication and understanding these elements allows, them, allows your students really to read and analyze visual information in a more sophisticated way, which is really essential in today's very much image-driven society. Number four is that it really increases self-confidence. So teaching the elements of art gives students the tools to create visually appealing artworks. So this can really increase their self-confidence and um, help them and their self-esteem and then like help them increase, like see their own artistic abilities develop and improve. And five is that it enhances cultural awareness. So art is a reflection of a culture in which it was created. And by teaching the elements of art, students can learn about cultural and historical contexts that influence the creation of various art forms. So overall, teaching the elements of art is essential for developing a well-rounded education that fosters creativity, critical thinking, and self-expression. By providing students with a foundation in the elements of arts, educators can really help them develop a lifelong appreciation for the arts and the visual world around them. So some strategies for teaching the elements of art. So teaching the elements of art to students of all ages can really be challenging, but there are several strategies that educators can use to make the process fun and engaging. So we're going to talk about some of the strategies for teaching the elements of art. Number one. So if you've gotten distracted, come back to me. If you got some more ideas, my friend, grab that paper, grab that pencil, whatever you like to write on, you grab it and come back to me. So number one is use visual aids. Visual aids such as posters, diagrams, and more can be exam that and examples really of art can be effective tools to teaching the elements of art. These aids can help students see the elements in action and understand how they work together in a composition. Number two is hands-on activities. Such as hands-on activities, really, such as your drawing, your painting, your sculpture, right? Art is very hands-on in nature, allows students to experiment with the elements of art in a tangible way. This is one of those reasons for me, like, I don't believe in, uh, as a class punishment for a class misbehaving. I don't think that, for me, I don't take away using art materials in an art classroom. I think that's just further creating problems in terms of management. I think that there's other things to look at before we get to that point. Because art is really hands-on in nature and it's going to engage the kids. So these activities can really help students to internalize the concepts and develop their own creative style. Number three is collaborative projects. 
So collaborative projects encourage students to work together and share ideas by working in groups and students can learn from each other and develop their social skills while exploring the elements of art. Number four is incorporate technology. Technology can be used to teach the elements of art in a fun and interactive way. For example, there are many online resources and apps that allow students to experiment with color and shape and texture in a digital environment. Number five is to connect to other subjects. So the elements of art can be integrated into other subjects such as math and science and social studies. For example, students can use geometric shapes to create a math inspired artwork or explore textures and patterns found in nature and science um, inspired project. Number six is emphasize the process. It's again important to emphasize the process of creating art rather than just the final product. Encourage students to experiment with techniques and explore the art elements of art in a really playful and curious way. All right, so we're gonna talk a little bit about encouraging experimentation. This is super one of my like big, big, big musts. Uh, you gotta experiment all about the process. This is how we're gonna get kids captured and motivated and wanting to create in your classroom. So ex encouraging experimentation with different art materials is a really important part of the teaching process in terms of implementing elements of art into your classroom. So we're gonna talk about the reasons why experimentation is important. First and foremost, it develops creativity. Experimenting with different uh, art mediums allows students to break free from traditional methods and explore new possibilities. And this can help them to foster creativity and develop a new, unique artistic style. Number two is that it encourages problem solving. Experimenting with art materials requires students to think outside the box and also find new ways uh, to use materials. And this encourages problem solving skills that can de help develop a growth mindset. Number three is that it builds confidence. And so trying new things can really be intimidating, but by encouraging experimentation with different materials and, and art mediums, uh, students can build their confidence and feel more comfortable taking risks. Number four is that it encourages exploration. Experimentation encourages students to explore new ideas, materials, and techniques. And this can help, them help broaden their understanding of art and the world around them. Number five is that it fosters curiosity. So experimentation with art materials can be a fun and exciting way to learn. It fosters curiosity and encourages students to explore their own interests and ideas. So in order to encourage experimentation with different art materials, educators can provide a variety of different materials and tools for students to learn. This can also help create a safe and supportive environment um, where students feel like they can really take risks uh, create risks and try new things and encouraging open-ended projects and giving students the freedom to explore their own ideas can really be a great way to promote experimentation and overall exploring and encouraging experimentation with different mediums and materials. Um, by doing this, educators really can help students develop their creativity, problem solving skills and confidence. And of course, if you're wanting to find art units that are fully planned that explore the elements of art through a theme, then you can find my fully planned art lessons and art units that are very great specific and exclusive to the Artistic Teachers Pay Teachers store um, by going to teacherspayteachers.com and searching Ms. Artastic in the search bar that is M-S, Artastic, A-R-T-A-S-T-I-C. Um, in the search bar, click the Ms. Artastic, you'll find the cat color wheel thing logo. And then when you go to my store, you're gonna, you can search around, find whatever you want. But on the left side, if you're looking on the desktop browser, there is a category section. Um, or on the mobile browser, you can hit search in my store. But in the left side on the desktop browser, you will see um, that there are different categories. And one of them is the elements of art. If you click that, you will find all of my very specific elements of art units, including my grade-based ones. I have like kindergarten, grade one, grade two, grade three, all up to grade eight. So check them out and they're all, of course, within a theme uh, or basically elements of art plus a theme. So in conclusion, teaching the elements of art to kids of all ages is an important part of their education as it helps them to develop their creativity, critical thinking and problem solving skills by incorporating strategies such as hands-on activities, collaborative projects, visual aids and technology. Educators can really make the learning process fun, <clears throat> engaging and encouraging experimentation with different art materials emphasizing the process of creating rather than just like the final product 
can be an effective way to help students develop their skills and confidence. And by teaching elements of art, educators can help students to see the world around them in new and exciting ways and prepare them for the success for their success in both the uh, inside classroom and then out of it and in their own, li in their own lives. Well, my friend, that's it for this episode, and I will see you in the next.